Hey guys, we just got back from Monkey Man in theaters, uh, and I saw the trailer for this, and I was so excited to go in. Yep. That's a damn great trailer. It's a high octane action, kind of looks like an Indian John Wick kind of thing. Very stylish. Uh, well, we just got back, and I'll tell you, holy shit, that was exactly what i was expecting it to be i wanted to i wanted to get a visceral brutal revenge story that's exactly what i got and uh, this Dev Patel, I, I like what he does. Apparently, he also directed this. So this mm -hmm. is his directorial debut. Uh, congratulations to Dev Patel because I love the film. Uh, story by Dev Patel, directed by Dev Patel, and screenplay, though he had two others help him, Paul uh, and John Coley. Now, even though I loved it and I thought that the action was great and it's brutal, it has style, it has substance, I love the music, I love the culture, um, I think you should go out and see this one. I do think that there are a few problems. I would say three main things that take it away from me. I'm going to ask you all in a second what takes it away for you, but here's some unforgivable things that I don't like in my action films. Number one, top of the list, shaky cam. I cannot stand shaky cam, and we get a lot of shaky cam here. And it's a shame because not not only is Dave, uh, De Dev Patel doing great martial arts here, he must have been definitely oh, training for, sure. for quite a while, uh, but... So many other people are performing some great moves, and I feel like if I could just, if you would just hold the camera still for five seconds, I can see it. Now, later on in the film, they kind of chillax with it, but it, it's still uh, a problem. Another thing that, uh, 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 that he likes to do behind the camera, I don't know if there's a different cinematographer uh, for the film, I'll look that up, but... Boy, do they love their close-up shots. Here, there is like everything. The camera is nor normal films. Camera is like my distance from Joe. This film, the camera is here eh, all the time. So whether we're looking at a puddle of water or whether we're looking at somebody's face or whether we're looking at a fist punching a stomach. You need to really see it's your, the scene. It's, it's so <laughs> close. There's a shot of a lock on a door. What? <laughs> It's so close, and I need I need to just kind of get it. It's it gives a claustrophobic feeling. I see what they're doing, very close up, very intimate, but um, it, it it's a little too much, and that actually factors into my third problem, which is the film is just too long. It is overindulgent, and because of that, it loses steam several times. There was a moment in the film where it kind of lost me. And then the film was so badass, it got me back, mm -hmm. you know? And that's very rare for a film to do to, like, pick me back up. But uh, Monkey Man definitely picked me back up. It's kind of, you know, it loses a little bit of its intense focus. I think maybe if some of the events in this revenge story was told in a slightly different order, like, Probably. keep all the elements here, maybe delete, I don't know, 30 minutes of it, and then move some stuff around to really give that hero more of a purpose at the beginning when he's doing his fighting and you understand him a little bit more because this film slowly does the mystery box that opens as you go along and then there's the full reveal before the final battle and i wish we had a little bit more of that stuff front packed in the front and in the first and second act to give it a little bit more of my investment uh because i was well i was definitely invested in the third act um, I needed a little bit more of that, especially in the second act. And uh, that was my third. And uh, they also like to do a lot of lens focus stuff. So the lens const constantly comes in and out of focus. But it's all, uh, you know, De Patel here trying to find his voice as a director. And I got to say, as a directorial debut, I think it's... It, there's lots of potential here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He just needs to look at his notes. I wish the, the editor would have been like, hey, bro, let, let's work together here. Mm -hmm. And you got to 
you got to kill your baby. And some some of the best directors kill their babies. And, you know, it's like take out parts that are overindulgent. Like there's moments in the film, like I was talking with Alex earlier, you know, when you're having that badass montage and you're doing it and then like you're like, all right, we're ready. And you do the head nod. They did the head nod like seven times. It was like, okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go then. <laughs> let's fucking go. <laughs> All right, so that was my opinion on Monkey Man. What did you guys think initial impressions out of the I theater? didn't love it, but I still enjoyed it. I think it was a good film. You should definitely check it out. Um, for me, the thing that really didn't work for me was like the middle. Even though it's like an hour and 50 minutes, mm-hmm. it felt super long. Yes, <laughs> that's my major problem with it. The yeah, length. like it really dragged it down for me, but it did pick up at the we, end. We looked it up. What, what did you say again? An hour, an hour and 50 An hour? No. That felt like three hours, Yeah, guys. exactly. That felt like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> It was too much mm-hmm. in the middle that really dragged it on. So I didn't like that. And also, the montage was not as cool. It mm-hmm. was kind of lame. Like, you don't have, like, a mm-hmm. Rocky montage, something memorable, something cool. Um, but I, I, I liked the montage. I'm going to disagree that's fine. with the drums, but I think they that's dragged it, it on yeah. too much. Is that what you... No, I just... Okay. Yeah. You need, yeah. yeah, it was in, it was fine, but it, it wasn't very memorable yeah. for me. And uh, the main thing for me was, like, the villains. I don't really... Mm-hmm. I didn't really care. I was like, okay, I'm just here to see the fights. At the, yeah. Towards the end, I'm like, all right, just so go So basically, ahead and we have people. a police chief, and then we have this uh, uh, yeah. sort of religious inspirational leader who is kind of trying to influence in the sovereign party uh, mm-hmm. as, as in politics. Yeah, and I, I expected like a John Wick kind of thing mm-hmm. throughout the whole film. But you don't really get that towards the yeah, third act. I think the the trailer is yeah. Mis- <sighs> yeah, that's what I was going into. I was, was like, going okay, in for a revenge pack. story, and that's what I got. The trailer was Kinda. like, no, we're doing ha- ha- hardcore Henry, and we are never letting up. <laughs> and that's not what this is. It is an actual story with some slower moments yeah. and some some build up, and then some crescendos. Yeah, still good though. Yeah, I, I I agree. I mean, I think that the phrase "I liked it, but I didn't love it" is mm-hmm. is kind of sums up everything for me. There's promise here. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of substance here because I couldn't see it. it. It's all style, no substance, and it's like you you fucked up. It's not that I just didn't like it. You fucked up because you have an amazing. When we do get to see the fights, they're really cool. And there's times where it's like the camera shakes violently because he gets hit in the face, and I love stuff like that when it's that's like the you know every now and then we get it so we can really feel the fights but Not there's so many hit. fights where it's like man i didn't i kind of see these bodies moving around and like i've got good vision <laughs> and it's like we watch a lot of these movies it's like i you, i want to watch the movie that you filmed yeah. but you're you're shaking the camera in such a way where it's just like i can't enjoy the work that everyone here is doing um it meanders and it, it just doesn't fucking stop meandering they don't have an emotional hook in the beginning no. of the movie, in my opinion. There it is. I, That's why yeah. I said we need to move one of these pieces to the front. Yeah, and so the movie, like, it, it's going. And I'm like, cool. We get halfway through the movie. I'm like, all right, now we're gonna. I'm gonna figure out why this guy's doing what he's doing. He's he's working his way up through these things. Like, you know, he's 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 got a plan, and we don't really find out what the whole, you know, the, what the re, the yeah. reason to be until the until the very end. And by mm-hmm. then, it's just like, man, we've been meandering for. Th- at least 30, if not yeah. 45 yeah. minutes. I'm also going to agree that montage, that was a really great two-minute scene of a 10-minute montage. And but they, they stri- <laughs> But they stretch it out. And so yep. it's like, it's in my opinion, it's a bad montage because you need to show mm-hmm. that he goes from dude yeah. mm-hmm. that, like, he knows what he's doing. Like, he, yeah. you know, he beat all our asses, whatever. But he's a dude who's, like, okay at fights, but he's losing fights. And then he's, like, punching a punching bag, and now he's the greatest fighter of all time. Yeah, that and was it's a, like I needed yeah. more. We show needed me the good development. And it's mm-hmm. like, it would have been so easy, because he's surrounded by these people that could have been training him. Mm-hmm. We just don't see any of it. So it's like, yeah. I don't really see most of the fights because mm-hmm. the camera's shaking. I don't see what his emotional, you know, what his journey is going to be. So... I like this movie because I like action movies. Yes. I think it's got a, 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 bu- a bunch of style. I just don't get to see the substance because of how he filmed. So it's like, I don't love the editing. I yeah. don't love the cinematography. Mm-hmm. I like the story and I like the fights. So I don't yeah. know. I'm mixed. Yeah, same here. So like my, my three main points, shaky cam, extreme close-ups, and then it being the length where he's padding things out. Perhaps because it's a first-time director. I went and looked a little bit behind the scenes. 
Dev Patel would uh, wanted to recruit his previous collaborator, Neil Blomkoff, to do this particular Neil film. Green. But <laughs> Blomkoff declined and he said, hey, man, why, why don't you direct it yourself? This could be your thing. And he mm. was like, hmm. Okay, yeah, and then he got into it, and then he got Jordan Peele's help to bring mm -hmm. this from streaming uh, into theaters, so I'm glad, I'm glad it brings, you know, a new perspective, a, a fresh face to the, the field, thank you to Jordan Peele for bringing people up, uh, seeing different cultures, uh, seeing uh, great action scenes from different perspectives, there's, there's a unique group in this film, I have no idea what's going on there. I needed a little bit up. more explanation. There was like a, like a one half male, one half female uh, goddess in, in the temple and these people. I get the general idea where it's the outcasts of society yes. pick him up. But, you know, I was I was doing some extra reading on here. Of course, the, the, the same people that always rail against this stuff is screaming about it and, yeah. and calling the, the film woke and all this other stupid bullshit. Yeah. And apparently... Um, that's not the case. Include a uh, he hydras, including hydra h i j r a s. It's a group of people, including hydras in a film in India, is not Hollywood wokeism. It's an accurate representation of cultural differences. Uh, what we call trans here now has long been a part of Indian society. Haters in the comment section need to realize that America is not the whole world. So apparently, there's this the, America, these, <laughs> this group of people. Um, oh, yeah. In in India, uh, I lived in India for seven years. The Hydra community is a part of everyday life. We we know about them, but then you got the regular old, the the same uh, people uh, screaming of nobody cares about trans representation, yeah, except for Hollywood freaks. You know all this other stuff. That that actually, you know, I don't want any of that to take away from the film here. It was badass, great fight scenes, a little unfocused from time mm. to time, and I think that comes from uh, his inexperience with the, de uh, you know, his directorial debut. Um, but overall, really enjoyed it. I needed a little bit more explanation here and there. So when we look at the uh, uh, the screenplay. Paul and John probably could have gave him a little bit more help and fleshed out some yeah. of these things. Because um, when I said we needed to move some of these pieces, the only time I really got invested other than, hey, this has great look to it. I love the colors of the film. Mm. I love the style. But I wasn't invested in the character until, like, the montage. And that's, like, second, that's like second act towards the ends of the second act. Because there's flashes here and there that something happened in his past, and he's going around and beating the shit out of people and 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 doing some fucked up shit. In fact, kills a bunch of police, and I'm like, but that guy didn't do nothing. He's just doing his job. Later on, we realize what's going on. We can talk a little bit about in spoilers, but um, the emotional gravity is right at the end, right before he goes on the final boss battle. For me, it's too little, too late. It's too little, too. You need that in front, so you, so every single punch and impact and revenge and and thing feels like yes, we got that guy back and we got that guy back. You know, so that's where we uh, kind of mm -hmm. disconnect with yes. the film. Uh, we want it to succeed. I want it to do well. Apparently, what's amazing is this is only a $10 million budget. So once again, Hollywood are actually independent filmmakers that are being elevated by other, you know, good people within Hollywood are given a lower budget and they end up making something that's on the level of what we see in, in Hollywood these days. Godzilla with 20 million, this film with 10 million. So um, I'd rather watch 10 of these than one Silent Night. Amen. So John Woo, we're tired. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Silent Night, the old movie. I was like, That's we're so wrong. On, apparently, we're wrong on Silent Night. I can't believe how many people liked Silent Night. I'm like, God damn, y'all need to watch way more people? John Woo films than you really have. Okay, let's go with final verdicts. For me, I'm gonna give this a seven. Uh -huh. It was still a good watch. I enjoyed the visuals. Had some good music mm -hmm. to it. Uh, I like the fight scenes, but again, I like you said, I was not really invested. I was disconnected with the whole revenge stuff. I was just watching a fight. I was like, oh, that's a cool fight. I yeah. like it. Um, for And it's not up there. With, and we need like, to talk about the, how the, the thing that happens that makes him very upset. I need to ask you all a question because it didn't make sense to me. And, uh, oh, yeah, to, yeah. In, in, like, the, in the, in the I spoilers. Guess it's, yeah. 
Uh, but it's not up there with like uh, John Wick, uh, Ombak, mm-hmm. uh, The Raid. Ooh, I love stuff The Raid. Like that. Yeah, like, The Raid's a ten out of ten. Even like for Equalizer, me. like those, those are amazing mm-hmm. movies. This one, maybe with some more direction mm-hmm. and cutting and moving around some ed- like let's see but... let's see De- uh, dev get more work and then come back and give us a new director's cut or something and something, move it around because there's there's gem here it's just bloated yeah even for, but it was only an hour like in 53 minutes which is short for a movie but it no tra- that's not short for a movie it's lo- longer for a movie but it felt like three hours yeah but, yep yeah, um, I, I'm roughly in the same spot. I think some of the problems I have is like this movie actually does need to be half an hour longer if we're going to keep it as is because I actually need to see scenes where the chief of police is even more of a dastardly dude. I need yeah. to see that the, the the leader is worse than he is. We get little bits of it, and the problem is if we're gonna if we're gonna develop the bad guys so little, mm-hmm. and we've already spent an hour and fifty three minutes, it's like you have to cut out so much in the middle and put these other things in. So I do think that maybe. This movie lost a couple points for me on the editing floor, where they just they cut stuff out that I needed to see, yeah. and they kept stuff in there, and uh, and that's gonna come with you know uh, studio interference. That may come with experience, where he just says, you know, now I recognize I need to be more focused. Sometimes less is more, um, yeah. and it, so I think it's a good start for him. I was thinking anywhere between a six or seven. I do I do like this one. Um, I can see six. I can see. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna go with the seven. Um, because I think that there was some really cool, there was some cool fights that I did get to see, but again, just really disappointed I didn't get to see the stuff that they filmed because they were filming it like this, yep. and then uh, that that bloat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a film that worships heroes. There's a there's a story. I think it's in um, you know Indian folklore about a particular hero that 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 wants to grab the sun that was awesome it's like a sweet mango and you know and 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 that was cool and then throughout the film when he's building himself up you get this like sense of community and and heroism and the whole nation coming together and using him as a vessel but they focused a little bit too much on that and not enough on what did these motherfuckers do that turned you into the monkey man right and if we saw a little bit of more of that and then a little bit earlier it would have been a way more satisfactory and and gave us more satisfaction as we were going along it still ends up doing it but you have to kind of put the pieces together yourself once you've watched it all and you're like ah okay yeah but i think everybody would probably agree it could have been tightened up the shaky cam, unacceptable. Could have been tightened up in, in, in some sections. So that's why I am also going to go a, a 7 out of 10. I can see easily this film being a 6 or an 8 for some people. It was, for me, but it was I borderline. Think it was, I was like, eh, I want, I want that. I probably would have gone six if it wasn't such, uh, you know, a, an awesome directorial debut. And the, you could tell that Patel has completely, uh, you know, given his all in this. Not only, obviously, the lead, the directing, the story, the screenplay, mm. the fucking stunts. It was visceral and very bloody at times. And, um, you know. It's rated R, right? It is cool. rated. Yeah. Um, let me check. Uh well, not on here. I would say yes. Yeah, oh, I, it's almost certainly it's gotta right. be rated R. And so anytime yeah. I see a, like, oh yeah, no, we saw some fucking in there. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. It's, that's that's rated what it's yeah, it's some fucking. <laughs> anytime you can support, because I'm a big fan. There's and it's beautiful like, women in here. There's good looking food. Yeah. I was like, man, this is great. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Alex. Uh, there's anytime you can support people making these kind of things they don't make a lot of money and so it's really easy for yeah. these directors and these writers to shy away from it and we end up with a, a sad pg-13 version of this where it's like man fuck yeah. you make it rated no. r so it's like look if you're on the fence go see a rated r action movie have a couple more beers because you know it'll make the the situation a little bit better yeah. but i i think that we have to support people who are, are risking rated r okay so let's go into the um uh, spoiler section. Thank you for sticking with us. Uh, would you guys recommend seeing this in the theater? Yeah. 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 Uh, if you've seen a bunch of others, if you've seen like Kong and all the other things that are going around, like you could do a lot worse than this. You could do worse. Okay. So th- see it in theaters if you can, and we'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show.
Hey guys, welcome to the spoiler section. So not a lot to spoil here. Police chief goes corruption to revenge. corruption yeah. revenge. Police chief goes to his uh, village and just starts shooting up people while they were watching a puppet show, which was fun. Um, and he seems to be a lackey of this uh, inspirational uh, religious guru. guru leader guy who's just a piece of shit, opulent, just loves to rub shoulders with the rich. But you and, don't see that. And you don't see that. And, and you don't see how much of a piece of shit is he, other than him actually giving the order uh, over the phone and then the police chief doing it. Now, I like the look of the police chief. I felt like he was brawny and fucking a good match. But we needed more. We needed a little mm -hmm. bit more of that. So he was a good counter. And then the, the religious leader was just a little bitch. And he was going to use some underhanded muscle, tactics. Yeah. He's like, look at my sandal. And there's a little prayer on my sandal. Just read it. And then, what? <laughs> <laughs> ah, God damn it. And like stabbed uh, him with a pencil. pencil. <laughs> yeah, he stabbed him with the, what do you call it? Danger chocolate. The, the chocolate yeah. <laughs> uh, piece. And uh, Terrible sandals, by the way. If that piece comes out, like yeah. they're not going to yeah. work it's right. Maybe it's screwed on. It's screwed yeah. on. It. Oh, Maybe. Yeah. Oh, let's see threads. Uh, and he goes, you know, to the trailer where the uh, you see the poster. And he's got red and he's there. That's actually the elevator opening to the final scene where he gets up top the building. That's also the attacks. omen. You notice the same poster. It was the omen. We were walking and we were like, we're like walking wait, in the one? wrong movie. It's the same red thing. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, and so initially the film opens. We have our favorite South African actor uh, from uh, Neil Blomkoff's other movies. Uh, this guy, I forget his name, but I can never fucking uh, understand a goddamn word that comes out of him, but I love him, <laughs> okay? Um, I'll, I'll look him up. And when have you take it over while I look There was up? really, well, you mentioned that. There was also very inconsistent use of subtitles. Uh, Charlito Copley. Yeah. Sometimes they would use him and sometimes they wouldn't. It's like, I really wish you would have used him yeah, in some of the situations. <laughs> Here, uh, I can actually understand all everybody in this film except for him. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so he he's kind of a he's a guy that puts on a monkey mask and gets beat up, and so his job is to be you know to throw these the fights uh, and be a punching bag, and we don't know why he's you know putting up with this for very little money. Yeah. Um, but then we see that he actually has some goals. He they've been scoping out this really really rich woman who runs this. Uh, restaurant that's also like a brothel cocaine den cra craziness and so the movie starts when he kind of infiltrates that that place and starts to get access to these super powerful people work work his way from the top he shows his hands this is from bleach he says i'll do i'll take any job and he gets the job that nobody else wants to do but it turns out his hands are actually burned because when uh, his village was being attacked by the corrupt uh, police chief hey the police chief decided to go into his house because his mom is good looking or something and and just well she's the one who told him oh, show right. the papers, papers up your ass, up your ass. She's like, oh, oh, you want to yeah. say that? Yeah, say that again to me, you yeah. know. And uh, he basically, uh, she manages to hide her son in uh, the attic before, and he can see actually through the cracks mm -hmm. in, in the roof um, down on what's happening. And basically, he brutalizes his mother. I don't think he rapes her. No, but he chokes he, her out. He chokes her out, but there's a lot of blood on the ground. And... I think it's, you know, she cuts his ear at one point, and you see this later on in the film, but there's blood, it's seemingly coming yeah, out of the know, back of her like, head. He I think I missed her. She punched, he, he kept belt. punching her, and then she pulls okay. his belt off, and he beats the shit out of her with the he belt. He does yeah. strangle her with the belt, but I'm like, where'd all this blood come on? I guess from, from the punching or maybe yeah. shoving the back of it's her okay. head down into the ground. And so he literally watches his mother die as she's watching him. And I don't know if his mother could actually see his eyes. It wasn't, you know, super, but it was potentially implied. So it was tragic. It was shocking. And that's going to make anybody be like, but that was my the soul end of the, the end. That's exactly. the very end of the movie. <laughs> they, but they tease that in the first act, at, like with small little frames here and there. I hate it when they do that. And then they do this. We needed that way sooner so we can be on his side. Exactly. Yeah, It's not like we didn't know that something bad had happened. We knew immediately that something bad had happened to him in the past. And we knew immediately that the police chief had done it. But there's a difference between hearing, oh, man, they killed his puppy and stole his car. Yeah. From seeing, <laughs> oh, from seeing go. that he <laughs> killed the puppy and stole the car. Yes. And then he buries the puppy. And you're like, I need everyone in this movie to fucking die. Yes. And so, like, that is an important thing that you got to, I mean, in my opinion, this isn't a high art 
art movie. This is a revenge film, right. and there's there's try, things that work. Trying to Quentin Tarantino it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't want to eat feet in this movie. Like he yeah. <laughs> does more than feet, Alex. But you're right. There's, well, it's yeah. mainly there's the feet, feet right? That's what he's known mainly, for. It's mainly the feet. No, for, it's, yes. he's also known for yeah. uh, heavy dialogue and telling yeah, stories yeah. out of order sometimes. Yeah. And then feet. And feet. Um, yeah. So then, uh, so then the share, or the chief just lights her on fire. He runs down and he tries to put her out. Mm. That's how he got his. That's how he got his the his scars. Scars. On him. Um, yeah, and he uses the monkey mask, and so eventually he does work his way up, and he gets to a point, befriends one of the uh, fluffer ladies, who uh, is the most attractive girl in this place, and she gets a lot of attention, and she's kind of noticing how. You know, he's working his way up and he's very interested in, in particular people. It seems like he's searching and he finally finds a police chief and he's like, all right. So then he befriends a dog uh, through feeding it so that later that dog can bring him his pistol gun. that he buys and <clears throat> gets close enough to him to uh, I think he spikes his fucking cocaine. Yeah. So the bleach, the guy, bleach. Yeah. His name is Bobby. Bobby Bleach. Bobby Bleach. Bobby Bleach. Yeah. yeah, his his friend with the uh, Tuk Tuk, uh, they have this scene where it's like all these cool cars, and I like this scene. It's like, all right, which one's mine? He's like, I call it Linda. And it's showing Nicki this, Minaj. Nikki is showing this Nicki Lamborghini, Minaj. but then it's the Tuk Tuk. And, but this thing hauls ass. It's a fucking badass one. Yeah. Anyways, um, there's there's two things that make sense. Uh, one of them involves his friend. Uh, so we'll get there. So now he gets the gun. Uh, leads the police chief into the bathroom, has him dead to rights, and he points the gun at him, but he just... He walks all the way to his face. Yeah, the like, guy never said, point a gun in somebody's closer. face like that and wait, because you're just asking yes. for trouble. The guy said, you need to get real close if you want to sell him the gun. Yeah, but then he was practicing <laughs> shooting close. from 20, yeah. 30 feet away. <laughs> yeah. so. Not that close. And then, yeah. uh, you know, shit happens, and... Somebody guy, comes out of the stall out of and the stalls stall. him, and then... Yeah, and a fight ensues, and he actually gets his ass kicked by the police chief. The police chief is a badass fighter, and I like, I just like the look of the police chief. He looks like a good villain to yeah, me. Yeah, he says all oh, fucked up shit. He's like, I hope you, uh, I hope your mom fucks harder than you fight. Yeah. And it, I, while he's beating like his that. ass, and it's just like, oh. And uh, so the, all hell breaks loose because they hear the gunshots, yeah. the party, everybody's running. And then, you know, the dudes, the security guards with the guns show up, gunfire is going off. Uh, here's the one thing that doesn't make sense. His uh, his friend is like, it calls him, a, or there's like a radio at one point. Hey, where are you? You know, the attacker's in the in the parking garage. And he's in the parking garage. He's the attacker. But the, his friend doesn't know it. And he gets on the tuk-tuk, drives over, and then the elevator lets out where all the women and the people that were running. And he goes to his friend, get in! Uh, <laughs> it's just, Why? Get in, so then his friend gets in the tuk tuk, and then the guys immediately fire at the tuk tuk. If he would have just continued running away, then his life would have been I saved, don't know and no bullets would have flown by. And plus, he gets in massive trouble, yeah. all because he asked him to just get in for no reason. There was yeah. no purpose for him to be get in the tuk tuk, and There's they no have this off. chase scene. There's no payoff. It's not like they needed to get somewhere quickly or have an objective. And eventually, the police follow him and ram the tuk tuk, and you know. And he runs away. He goes like, I'm sorry. And he runs away. It made me feel like this was one of the scenes where there was something cut out where they, they's like, no, th those two are tight. And like they, yeah. you know, we, we miss something like that. But we also we don't have that yet. We don't have any of that. And we also kept in like a really long segment about this fucking dog. And I love dogs. Yeah. Uh, Moose's birthday tomorrow, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I love dogs. <laughs> Uh, and they, it's long, and it's just to get a pistol in an alley where he could easily get the pistol in the alley, in a different and way, it, like you yeah. would be, it would be believable that he hides it in the trash can, and we just go, cool. I have no problems with that whatsoever. So it's like you're putting your focus in the wrong fucking spot, and it yeah. goes nowhere. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> goes nowhere. If he's a dog trash, I would have gone in and got him the good stuff. And well, him but it is still the good well, stuff. Yeah, because when then we get the scene with him and the lady of the night, mm -hmm. which goes nowhere too. That yeah. goes nowhere too. Like all the lady of the night goes nowhere. They're not in a relationship. They don't hook up. It's and just, he, gets, he starts getting, which is fine. You could do that, but you know, yeah, yeah. During, I guess, when he's serving, I guess he sees a tattoo. I guess it reminds him of his home. Then Growing he starts up, you know, getting quail. all mad and mm -hmm. whatnot, and takes off. Yeah, it's real emotional. At one point, he just bur bursts out, was and it, I felt that I'm like, her? "Hey, man, this guy's got some acting chops. We've seen it yeah. in, in oh. other stuff he's been in. Green Knight, um, Green Knight, Slumdog mm -hmm. Millionaire, all these other things." And I think. 
that it was it just needed more purpose. Yeah, because I don't know, was he jealous of what was going on with her or just the tattoo? Just emotional fucking PTSD damage. Getting so close to the motherfucker, you know, and, and having this moment of I'm going to kill somebody. You know, I like the fact that there's a little bit of. Uh, Emotional dysregulation in it. Yeah, so that makes sense when he's around the police chief. Yeah. Like, this is, there's this just is... a random asshole that's like, "Hey, asshole, you poured red wine in a white wine glass, mm -hmm. and I need you to, you know, be better." And then he sees that this girl is getting. Yeah, fucked. that's, oh, you're the, talking that's about the one that I'm talking one. about. I, okay. Yeah, but he, he, yeah, first, right. he runs outside mm. and he's like ripping his clothes off. Yeah. I'm like, bro, you have to set something up. Like, yeah. are you in love with this woman? And that's why you're flustered. But that's the first if time was, they really. So if that's why we around. thought that was going to go somewhere later yeah, yeah, exactly. because that would be the payoff yeah. for something like that. And it, it wasn't. They yeah. kind of dropped that storyline. So anyway, all hell breaks loose. And I like I like the fact that there's they do one joke here. This is not an MCU. They don't do a bunch of funny jokes all the time, but there is one when he's running away and he's looking for a way out. He sees a, a, a window that he can burst through, and so he runs full speed, bam, and just bounces. Yeah, right he's off. 125 pounds. He wasn't jumping through plate glass. Because not everybody can do that. It doesn't always work like it does in movies. And then he has to go back the hard way down yeah. through more fights and stuff. So I liked that little bit, but he. He is junked up. He is hurt, crushed. I think he's been stabbed, and he's running across the roof, and a sniper helicopter shows up and just takes the shot, and he fucking falls off from, uh, you know, some shanties into the water, and they make a point of showing this water, Joe. Very dirty. That was the grossest water I've ever seen. There's like, I don't know what is in it, like tissues. but something you is in it. You know what is in it. It's it's tissue. I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah. Like but he's sword. got, he's got bullet holes. He's got stab wounds. And I was like, that motherfucker and now he's got is sepsis. dead. Yeah. 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 It's not going to be pretty when they fish him out of the water. But that is sh off screen. He is saved by Alpha, who is a part of uh, the this group. Um that has their own temple. They're the outcasts of society. We briefly hear about them in the news that they got kicked out of the temple. Super and then they, briefly. They, yeah. yeah, super briefly. It, it was so brief. I must have missed it. I was getting my drink or something. Yeah, because we I, talked I didn't about know. it on the TV. I was like, okay, well. I needed to know more about this group. Is like, okay, this is happening now, and I don't know anything yeah. about if it. You, yeah. Like, and apparently reading stuff about it, and some people are in India are like, oh, yeah, these people exist. It's like, yeah, but why didn't I get to see any of that? For, th for me, this is like a... A wild world. It's just made up. All this shit is made up, yeah. right? I, I needed a little bit more. Um, That's the only reason why I was like, okay, I got it because they talked about it in the news for like two seconds. Yeah, got she's it. like, oh, these people, <laughs> you know, because okay. uh, the evil guy is, is gobbling up all this religious yes. land, well, all this holy land. He's kicking all these people out. Mm, so that's like, right, yeah. you hear for like two seconds that, that, that this this group got moved somewhere else, mm -hmm. and that's why they're they're ready to rise yeah. up and start murdering everybody. Yeah. So uh, they give him shelter because uh, they know the police aren't going to come. I'm looking for him, and it's here where we not only do they heal his wounds, but I'm like, the, the, there's no fucking possible way unless you guys are like the best doctors uh, yeah. in, in India. Uh, and and then secondary, they're the best monks in India too because he turns from an average fighter. Maybe he always had this potential in him. And then the film does this energization, energizing him they're of all the whole great country. Fighters. But and they turn out to all be great fighters. <laughs> so apparent, we need to see more of that. Then we where need was to the, see some. Where is this some training of montage training of all of them? It was almost played for a joke that one of them that's really muscular yeah, comes like, up oh, and it's like, oh, I, I like, I like doing the bags. It's like, okay, but you can't have both. You can't have, oh well, you know, oh ha ha, I'm this doing bags. Versus now I'm a kung fu master and we're coming in and we're in these cool dress. And by the way, it was cool. Not very sneaky though, because it's like all the jewels and stuff that it was moving. Diwali was going on. It made sense that they're in their out their costumes. Yeah, yeah it's like what is you going? would hear you would hear them. Someone coming. drop a bunch of pennies. <laughs> and I thought that scene was badass. And then they come in and they kill, kill kick yes, all. Yes, exactly. That's what like, it's sights. a visual spectacle, but there's Great. no story or anything behind it. Yeah. Like, that looks cool. Yeah, but whatever. How do we school? get here? Yeah, exactly. Al so, but the, the, the Alpha mentioned something. Alpha says, "I was a man of violence. I used to be a." warrior and that's and like so they, there's one line and then for everything me, is one line and that's not enough <laughs> right like if we yeah. if we can focus on some of that stuff like i just i hate hearing about cool stuff yeah. and then i'm just supposed to buy that cool stuff happens it's and like we didn't we're not asking for very much more this is a visual medium motherfucker show me the cool like, stuff we could do uh alpha goes 
<clears throat> and then and then the monkey man goes yeah you know some that that would have been better than what we got i was once a warrior now i'm not or yeah or just i mean even if it's just an explanation it's like these are the kind of people we used to be we were all in the military we we're all special forces we we're all something yeah. something give me so, something so then they do this scene jordan like it i liked it right it's but, yeah, so, because like but no alex is right and we're all right yeah. because we all have that same opinion on it mm-hmm. The drums. Number one, I love those drums. I've heard them before. It's so cool. You got like it a is. kind of a male drum and a female drum, and this guy's telling this story about a couple or whatever, and it, that was awesome. And then later on, that drum guy shows up when he is doing his training, and they kind of like work together to do this like beat. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that's great. And I was like, perfect. Was and he then he the looks end. over at Alpha, and they do, mm. and I'm yeah. like, yeah, that was good. But then. For some reason, it keeps going, and we're doing more and more of the drum. And I'm like, oh. There's one shot of the guy, like, literally. He's sweating profusely. And I'm like, oh, it's almost turning into a parody now. And then another nod, and then another nod. And yeah. I'm like, oh. So he, le- he learned, by, he learned by the tempo, or tempo, mm-hmm. and then, like. It's like, rapper the rapper. It's like, where was he, though? He should have been at the end, like, yeah, I'm going to help you. <laughs> Oh, so, so he yes. shows up with a with a stra- that's what he did. strap. Like, one, two, boom, one, two. Boom, 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 boom. That would have been. <laughs> Joe, your movies are way more fun, but they turn into comedies. <laughs> that's um, insane. I would have loved to have seen that. So, yeah, anyways, just, uh, for me, is this? He, he becomes fun. the greatest fighter. Yes. And has the spirit of the downtrodden infused in him. And they keep superimposing the 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 story of the gods, and the gods were disappointed with this one monkey man, and took his powers away and in fact there's a really great shot here i was like oh shit man if i, if I yeah. was on drugs i'm been tripping right now but like, whoa this is fucking sweet so there's little bits and pieces here that elevate the movie what i'm trying to say is that there's times where this thing hits nine out of ten ten out of ten and we wanted it to maintain yeah. that yeah. Let's look and there. unfortunately it it slips mm-hmm. uh uh you know uh from time to time so um once that happens now he has now he ain't playing he just fucking bash. He doesn't go through the front door. He goes through the back door, I guess, because that's where he knows in 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 the crew area. Just boosh, bash, bashes in the backs. Just starts beating up the staff, and that's what you see in the trailer because it's essentially one long sequence there, and it's. But by that point, you're already at the fucking end. Yeah, like, mm. they they did do some of the flashbacks. Uh, that's where we got a little bit of the context yeah. <laughs> of that, and then then he goes in there and beats ass, and uh, so what happens? He takes care of ton of staff there's at one point where he's kicking ass and then <laughs> he goes into an elevator i don't know why he shows up with fireworks because it's not hurting anybody so that's one <laughs> kind of dumb thing then he fires a, a bottle rocket at the chief i guess it maybe it's a disrespectful thing right and so the chief is just like you know knocks it out of the way but he's got three more and it's like oh cool he's got ammunition so it's like john wick but with fireworks and i'm like this no this did not work and it's kind of dumb uh because he does fire like three more fireworks at one you know three guys and uh, one of them gets completely taken out and then he beats them all up and then the elevator is open and you have different looking dudes. These are like leveled up dudes from the other dudes that look like they are fighters, not guns. Because I'm like, where the and fuck are all the guns? Them. Yeah. And they and we'll talk more about that in a second with the police chief. You would think a corrupt police chief would at least have some kind of escort or some kind of gun. I believe I'll buy that the chief himself is like, no, I remember you. I'm going to fuck you up, yeah. man, mano a mano, because he exudes that kind of energy. But I think he would have some lackeys with some more guns. There, There is a moment where gun... A gun does get pulled. It's by Queenie, the the club owner. Um, but before that, you have all these leveled up guys come out of the uh, elevator, and he is fucking surrounded. And the music quiets because it was a good song. Then it quiets, and then I could hear the drums, and I'm like, oh shit, he's gonna take them all on. And I would have liked that too. But uh, the other elevator opens, and all the uh, what is the name for this community? Alpha and his faction shows up, and they have They're these very these trained. Cool, they have all these masks. And they have weapons. And Suddenly, they... they have the powers of the entire India behind yeah. them. That, yeah, maybe but these that's are what like they hired. Do. He has the power. Of hired bodyguards. 
They don't know how to fight. They lied okay, on their resumes. Okay, maybe those were they all. They lied on their resumes. You those don't know. Were all the monks in there that do that did know how to fight, and they I left the ones that. that didn't know how to fight. I didn't fight hear that. I, I got know, a feeling the black. Nice. That would have been nice. <laughs> but they all show up with sickles, and then they immediately start fighting. So it's a badass uh, battle royale melee. But that's one of those things that I'll allow in that moment. Yes. But it would be nice to get sprinkled more set up here and yeah, there. Yeah. So we move on from that. He it goes was a up. Cool, well, I, I like the fight scene because it was pretty cool. You get all the badass stuff, and then like the way like the dresses are all going up, and yeah, you see blood and everything. Yeah, it was a cool visual. It, it was a it was cool, a cool visual, visual, but yeah. that's about it. I liked it. Uh, there's a lot of cool visuals here, and then uh, so then he goes up to the next level where the police chief is in this. Well, you before know, that, he gets Queenie. Remember. Go ahead. Tell us. Oh. About Queenie. Queenie comes in and starts shooting. He's like, oh, you motherfucker. I'm going to kill you. This and that. Mm -hmm. And then his lady friend, the lady of the night, hits her oh, over yeah, the yeah. head. She was in the room, didn't escape with everyone else, and she stayed around. They got to the... slow everything down so that he has to take the weapon from her. The silver tray. Just, just let her have the weapon. <laughs> well, no, he needed it because he needed it. It hit her thumb really hard. Oh, so that's it, right. Yeah. It snapped cr clean off like she was made out of liquid yes, nitrogen. Like, there's no way. And it's you just like. You like, had to hit it harder. No, it was he, really he, sharp, Alex, okay? The the edge of it was really sharp. Okay. And they got her thumb, put it in his pocket, and then he went up. <laughs> so they use that, get into the VIP elevator, went up to the VIP section. That's where the police chief is waiting for. Bam! Just like knocks him, cheap shot. And then they get into a fight. Loved it. Great. I even like, you know, stylistic. I thought for a moment there we were going to watch them fight on the roof because the roof is, you know, has a reflection. Yeah, yeah. But they didn't go that far. They just, you know, did a lot of creative camera work, <laughs> a lot of creative fighting. I enjoyed it. Very visceral. A lot of spear. I like spear. Spear is like, just spear the fucker. You know, even if you're not that good at fighting, anybody can spear anybody and, uh, you know, and momentarily get the upper hand. But you can tell this time Monkey Man is outmatching the police chief. And uh, so through sheer muscle, Monkey Man does get stabbed, right, mm -hmm. by the police chief. And you think, where does he get stabbed? Well, he gets stabbed he... in the first fight. In the first fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah this not, one, no. no. He whoops his ass here. Yeah, he whoops his ass, and he ends up stabbing the police chief multiple. How does he, the he, police chief go down? He gets stabbed, right? He keeps uh, beating him with the uh, the, high, the the heel of yep. the, the shoe. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that over and over. Um, I was like, stay down, man. Yeah. <laughs> stay down. <laughs> but yeah, what then he did something else to him after he finished him off with the shoe. It felt like there was something there. That might be the next boss battle. Uh, okay, so he finishes off that guy. Then he goes up using the thumb to go to the crown room. And there's the uh, guru mm -hmm. who's dipping his feet in water annoyingly the whole fucking time while he's yes, talking. Alex. Shut the fuck up. I have a huge fucking question. This is question. Quentin Tarantino, by the way. Uh, yeah, all the feet. Uh, doesn't it feel like the guru should have died before the police chief? Yes. Yes. I did, I yes. Saying, it's yeah. like, oh, that's badass. And we're going to end on this. I like, we're going to end I on like the guru. The you didn't set shit up I about was, this I, I was thinking for a moment there when he's like, re, when he's like, look at this. And then he gets the thing. I was like, oh, maybe he's got some monk skills. And I thought, okay, we're going to get an even b bigger fight here. But was no, that a Kung he's Fu just... Hustle? He's like, I want to fight anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Takes off his yeah. fucking jet. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, like, who else? Yeah, no, who else? Yeah, not you. I have no problem with you. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be like some other cool fight, but no, yeah. it's they, just like a speech. Yeah, they set up the police chief as the big bad, right? The, the police chief beat the shit out of his mother to death, lit yes. her corpse on fire, ruined everything. And yes, I get that the, the guy made the call, but that's the only scene that we got. Yeah. And like, honestly, this guy, we didn't see that our main character knows that that guy made the call. We, he has see, no idea. And, and, and uh, he only knows that, uh, uh, Alex, because he read the script. He wrote the script. He's and like, he wrote the, the script. Payroll. Now, like, here's, this is blows payroll. my mind. And if this is true, because Alex mentioned it earlier, if, this, if there's more footage somewhere, this is a 10 out of 10. All he needs to do is go back in the editing room, move the things around. Because get this. What if he kills that motherfucking uh, the, um, guru before the guru stabs him? Now, he, this would have to be reshoots, this part. Guru stabs him just like he does here. And he has to fight the fucking boss with a stab wound, you know, mm -hmm. to, to make it even more level. That's more intensity. That's more tension. Yeah. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Instead, it's reversed. He uh, stabs him with the shoe the shoe bullshit and he really twisted too and i'm like oh fuck uh, he might have had him here um but he manages to overpower him and then just boop, 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 yeah. boop, stabs him over and over and um 
and wins, uh, essentially. And then I think a helicopter blasts the light on him, and that's when he gets stabbed, and then he overpowers him, kills him. And then you get the music, you get everything, and unfortunately, I think our, our hero dies. He, he, I think he succumbs to his wound. His purpose was revenge. His purpose was fulfilled. His mother... Uh, he momentarily stopped the corruption in India. Well, so the, pro the thing is... He, <laughs> he lets the, the okay, leader, the, the guy who actually has all of the power, walk away. Because the guy who has all the power is the politician. And he just lets him oh, live. That, 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 was that the politician? The that was the poli I thought well, that was the one guy that was like talking in the uh, in the th in the thing. But you're right. It's the That's same guy. That's a politician. Guy. So like the guy who is who's been running on like doing all the evil shit is going to get elected. He's going to do all the evil shit. Well, he says he's going to do good shit in public. Uh, well, that's yeah, He's going to eventually do evil. He's going to do all the evil shit. But that was dumb as fuck. Come on. Oh, I bet you Patel right now is like. Oh fuck! You can't no can't <laughs> oh, kill politicians fuck. in movies or something. No, I think he just made a mistake. He was like trying to show mercy there. He's like, well, he's not a fighter. We're in warrior mode. I'm like, bro, but if you're working for the country here and you're the soul and embodiment of destroying corruption, then you need to take care of that guy, or at least fucking intimidate him. Be like, we're fucking watching. He doesn't you. need his legs. Oh, he doesn't True. need his legs or his fingers, his uh, <clears throat> digits. Uh, and then, yeah, so then he falls over, and I think he succumbs to his wound. There's not an after credit scene or anything like that. It's just a uh, a great revenge story that unfortunately is a little bloated and uh, a little um, told in a, in a weird order. But all the elements are there, so I, that's why I do recommend that you still see it. Uh, you get your money's yeah, worth. Yeah, for sure. You definitely get your money's worth, I'll say that. Um, anything else? That's it. Yeah, yeah the, it's girl, just weird. the girlfriend, the friend really went nowhere. Yeah. Well, it's weird that I want to see more. It's not his purpose more. to live on and, and have well, sex that, and have a what, female interest. He was just, I'm going to kill these people and that's it. Yeah, but he still had those crazy emotions for no reason. Yeah. Yeah, that's not explained. Yeah, I need to see more of this movie and also less of this movie at the same time, which is weird. Yeah. I think it's just deregulation. He was just, his emotions are completely deregulated because he sees pieces of shit being pieces of shit to women so that could trigger him the, from okay, his father that could have been shot differently he's like he's yeah. scanning the room yeah, yeah, yeah. and watching everyone i'm just everyone. trying to give you a little bit yeah, of yeah, what I he was thinking that, but, when he was and writing and again like it, alex said hey you experience. come on over here so you could be uh in a, huh? his buddy's like oh come on so they could oh yeah yeah get in the tuk tuk the, yeah they're gonna shoot you I too said. now <laughs> <laughs> like, get in the tuk tuk oh, yeah. is like there's no reason for that and you just put they're, your friend in really danger friends. could have got shot in the back of that and you were like oh, oh. they're not really friends because he's like hey I'm gonna make yeah. you some money cool that's it it was a friendship of just convenience and yeah. uh, uh, greed so yeah. they were using each other yeah alright Anyways, uh, tell us what you thought. I think we nailed it there pretty much. Uh, and, uh, oh, well, I was wrong. It's fine. Oh, uh, we're wrong. <laughs> Silent Night is a better movie <laughs> than this. <laughs> Ooh. If that's your opinion, that? you know. Fuck you. You're wrong. <laughs> Silent Night is so bad. This is like three times better than Silent Night. I don't even remember what we gave Silent Night, but I think we Very rated well. it appropriately. It was like a two like or three, three. Somewhere. Maybe a four. All right. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. <laughs>